today is finally the day. I feel like um, this has been a long time coming, but um, we are heading to the Detroit airport in just about half an hour, and I'll be flying to Florence, Italy for my study abroad at Central Michigan University. Um, I'll be studying at Florence University of the Arts, and I'll be there for about seven weeks. Flights at 6.30, layover in Amsterdam, um, which will be about 2 a.m. my time, like how it feels. And then I'll arrive in Florence at about noon. I just made it through security. This is pretty crazy. My first time doing this all by myself. Arrived in Amsterdam. So we arrived in Florence. Once we got off our plane here, we qu quickly found the FUA um, guide who got us to our shuttle. It was just Kaylee and I and this girl, she's from New York and she met her husband here when she was studying at FUA. And so now she works here and she moved to Florence. Um, so she brought us to our apartment and our apartment is amazing. So here's our apartment door. We walk in and here's our living room. And then we have laundry and kitchen. Very cute. We've got one bedroom here and bathrooms. Here's the bathroom I just used to get all cleaned up and showered. Super cute, nice light. Got one of the triple rooms. desks here. We've got one single and then here's me and Kaylee's room. Say hi Kaylee. Hey. Um, I think I here. Awesome. Along with one other person who will be in this room. And this room is pretty awesome. Awesome view. Look at that. Yeah. How was the day today Kaylee? Uh, not as bad as we thought it would be. Right. For traveling all day. Yeah. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. And the, the day is still young. It is yeah. not even 3 o'clock. We yet. have things to do today. Yeah, we should. Lauren's exploring. So, after we got settled in and got cleaned up, we headed out into Florence, walked around for a bit. We went to Mr. Pizza for lunch. They have a vegan mozzarella for the pizza, which is awesome. Then we walked to the main building for Florence University of the Arts. And um, my key was broken when I got here, so I had to go pick up a new key. So that got all taken care of. Uh, walking along the river to get to a grocery store, we did some grocery shopping, which was kind of weird. Um, everything was in Italian, but it was good to go and get that out of the way. And then we um, went back to our apartment, and now we're here, um, I think for the night, even though it's only like 6 p.m. but or 5 p.m., but that's okay. We're just gonna hang out and chill and relax. And we came back to three more roommates here, so that brings us to seven roommates out of the 12 we will supposedly have in this apartment. So here's our crazy coffee maker. Kaylee looked up how to use it. Two pieces that come apart. And then we've got another. And another piece, yeah. We want to wash it first. So it's yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We want to clean that. I think it's just plain. Yeah. Happy. It says classic, so. Perfect. Just Let's put it on top. You think it's okay, like, just sit right on there? Yeah, I think this one you do it. Oh, should we use this one? Has a little. Yeah, let's do that. Let's use this one. Oh my god. Ah! Still didn't work? Well, no, it's not staying on. No, it smells like gas. Okay, 
Oh, and shoot. it turns off when you let go of it. So that back burner was not working. We finally got it to work here. There's water in the bottom. Somehow there will be coffee. So today it's Monday and we are heading to the main FUA building and we have our orientation today. Are you excited? So excited, off we go. And we made, we had coffee this morning. Woo! So. <laughs> So after our FUA orientation, uh, Kaylee and I went to the viral sandwich shop. I don't know how to say it, but it was so good. I got one of the several vegetarian sa um, sandwiches there with no cheese. So it had like um, really small diced like eggplant or zucchini in it and a bunch of um, lettuce, which they call rocket, and um, some dried tomatoes. The bread was amazing. It was like covered in olive oil, so good. And then after that, we got some more things done. Um, I got some stamps and postcards. We went to an ATM. We got Kaylee's phone figured out. She had to get a new SIM card. Um, and we just got to see a little bit more of Florence, which was a lot of fun. So we could have 12 roommates. We have 11 here. So we've been hanging out with them, getting some of them more. And we might go out tonight and get some gelato. Good morning, today is Tuesday, so it's the first day of FUA classes, and right now I'm heading out to a cafe to write some postcards, because my class is not until three. So today definitely really felt like my first real day here in Florence. I headed out to a FUA student-run cafe, and I used some of my units to get a couple croissants. Um, I have one, and I saved one for later. And I was gonna write my postcards there, but I didn't realize they had seating. So I ended up coming back here to write my postcards. But then I kind of realized that I think I got scammed out of the stamps that I bought. So I asked FUA, Florence University, there, it's like the school I'm trying to log through, where to get stamps. They said any tobacco shop will sell me stamps. So I went to two of them, got stamps at both. There are these postcard stamps that have a tracking thing on them. So you can track the postcards. We used to put them in like a special postcard box to mail them. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know. So I wrote them all, I put the stamps on, and then I started reading some reviews of this website because I was checking it out. And apparently like a lot of the postcards do not get delivered. So I freaked out. So I went to some post offices. It was really overwhelming because it was a lot of Italian. So I left. So I went back to the FUA building. I explained my situation. They were like, no, no, that's like just the Italian post system. Like it just takes forever. I was like, no. They say to put, like, put them in different boxes. And they were like, oh. And I said, can I show you the, the stamp? And so then finally they realized like I was right. And like, this is definitely a scam. So I'm gonna go back to the post office tomorrow and um, actually do it this time and get real stamps and send them. Um, Cause it's like 15 postcards I was gonna send. So, um, but yeah, I had my first FUA class. And it was honestly kind of boring. <laughs> it was three hours of lecture. That's okay. Um, so tomorrow we're gonna go out and tour. I met a friend. We walked back together almost the whole way. So that was nice. But it's like a three hour class. So it's definitely a lot. Um, but it will be good. And then we came back and hung out for a little bit and then went out to a fancy sushi place for dinner. It was so good. Cheers. That was a good set. Yeah, it was definitely a fun night. I'm excited for day two of classes tomorrow. So this morning, Kaylee and I headed to the post office so I could get some real stamps and so she could try the ATM one more time. We both were very successful this morning. So I think we're both feeling much better about that. Got my stamps, you're real this time. <laughs> then we um, checked out a bookstore, like a coffee shop. Um, I guess like a store that sells coffee things. We went back to the grocery store really quick, started talking about some weekend trips, and now we're back for a little bit this afternoon before we both have class. So I spent this afternoon just chilling. I was bummed to find out that Hulu is not available here, so I couldn't watch The Bachelor, but I paid $1.99 to watch it on Amazon. So we'll see if I keep doing that for the next six weeks or not. 
Then I headed to class and class was more interesting today. Luckily, the lecture was shorter, a little bit more interesting. And then we went out and we did um, a little bit of a walking tour sort of thing. During the walking tour, we went to Piazza della Repubblica, as well as Cafe Gili, um, which is a coffee shop that's been there since 1773, you know, just one shape or another. The weather is just so nice here, so walking always feels good. And I really think, like, because of how much walking I'm doing, I'm just, like, burning through energy so much faster, and I'm just hungry all the time. So I came back from class, it was only, like, 6 p.m. and I was starving and I had a I had lunch beforehand and a snack like at 2 I was just so star starving and so hungry so I made some baby gnocchi <laughs> it's like teeny tiny gnocchi um, and now we're just hanging out tonight Kaylee and I are doing some planning for some weekend trips again um, really trying to nail some stuff down So I was sweating my butt off in the winter jacket I brought. So I went out this morning and I wanted a really cool jacket that felt a little more Italian. It was lighter so I could wear it on days like this when it's so sunny and like 55 degrees. So um, yeah, that's what I did this morning. I also went back to the FUA coffee shop, Fedora, and I got some pastries, one for later, and sat out in their garden area, which was really cool. I also wrote another postcard to my mom using the scam stamps. So I'm gonna test out like, were they actually a scam? I feel good that I used like real Italian stamps to send all the rest of them, but I did wanna test it out and you know, see if they do work or not. Uh Dinner with Tim Marcello Central, which is like a food court but Italian. I got a spinach ravioli, which is really good. And Ava got a fancy burger, um, which is also, well, a vegan burger, um, which was huge. And we both had glasses of rose, and we'll be going back up again, again to Hamilton. So this morning, Kaylee and I booked our train tickets for Pisa and Cinque Terre this weekend, so we're very excited about that. We're just doing both of them in a day tomorrow, leaving at 7 a.m. And then we headed out, we went to a coffee shop. Since it's not really in the city center, the coffee shop felt very authentic. It was just a bunch of Italians in there, and then Kaylee and I. Um, you like take your pastry and your coffee and, you and eat and then you go up and pay, which is definitely different from America. And Kaylee's also right now taking a photography class at CMU. So we also walked around, went to the river, um, after we crossed the bridge, went to the other side of the river, um, took some photos. She took some photos of me, she's on portraits right now. So that was really fun. Um, and now I'm back for the afternoon before class. But I do think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here and I'll probably do a different one of our day trip tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed watching. I've been having a fantastic time here. I'm really loving it, I love exploring and I'm definitely excited to continue traveling and to see some new places starting tomorrow.